Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today I'm going to show you how to transfer Xbox One games that are on your internal storage on the console to an external hard drive so that you can take that hard drive and play on another Xbox One console or even on the Xbox Series X console. Now, it's very important to know that there are two minimum requirements for an external hard drive when being used with the Xbox One. It needs to be at least USB 3.0 and have at least 250 gigabytes of free storage space. So we're gonna click on the Xbox button on your controller, go to My Games and Apps, See All, and then you can select multiple games if you'd like. I'm just gonna do one for the sake of time on this video. I'm gonna choose Burnout Paradise Remastered. Once the game is highlighted, click on the More Options button. Then you're gonna go to Manage Game and Add-ons. There, you're going to see the Burnout Paradise Remastered game and the size of that game. So 7.7 .7 gigs on this particular game. Now, if we go down to the bottom, you'll see saved data. And now this is the data that allows you to continue where you left off. Within the Xbox consoles, you're actually not able to move the saved data individually, just the game. So when we copy this game to an external hard drive and then you connect to another console, you're actually not going to have your saved data. You're going to start from scratch like a brand new game. However, if your Xboxes are connected to the internet, wherever the game lives with any saved data, that automatically gets copied to your online storage. So when you launch the game through the external storage on another console and you're signed into the exact same account that this saved data is connected to, the console will automatically link your cloud storage and transfer your saved data into the other console. So again, you'll be able to transfer this game to an external hard drive but if you play on another console, you need to be signed in to the same exact account that has the saved data, and you'll need to be connected to the internet on the other console in order for you to continue where you left off. All right, so now let's move this game to the external hard drive. We're going to select this game, and then here, click on Move or Copy. Select the game, Move Selected, and now it's moving. Depending on the size of the game, this could take a little while. And now it's done, we're gonna back out. So now to verify that it's on the external storage, we're gonna go to settings, go down to system, go to storage, external, view contents, and boom, there it is. Again, you can do this with one game at a time or multiple games, and depending on the size of the games, it could take a little longer. Now that it's on the external hard drive, you can take this hard drive and connect it to another Xbox One or Series X, and you'll be good to go. Quick reminder, you will need to be connected to the internet if you want to continue where you left off so that your saved data gets imported from the cloud onto the other console. On this channel, I do have other Xbox Series X tutorials and I do have a link for those videos in the description. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.